The most important golfer to you is you. It's time to fix my swing. Let's do this. Welcome to a new breed of golf. I'm Michael Breed. So excited again to be back in the studio and bringing you another episode of a new breed of golf. So we've been telling you, by the way, great job with hashtag the great debate. Y'all got involved with that. Keep that stuff coming. There's a lot of things in the game of golf that are up for debate. And obviously I want to have those conversations with you. And as well, you're doing wonderful with the hashtag of fix my swing. We're going to do some fix my swing, but keep those swings coming to me so I can assist you with this. Okay. All right. We're going to go and look at uh, Kirk's golf swing and see what Kirk's got going on. Now, set of position looks really, really good here. I think that ball position, by the way, Kirk, is just a shade forward, all right? It looks like you've got a very lofted club in your hand, and I'd like to see that ball position get a little bit more in the center of your stance. So let's see this motion. Club's going back. It's a little bit inside. Pretty good position at the top here. And now when you're coming down, what's going to happen is because you've taken this club so far to the inside, when this club starts to come down right here, in this position right here where this, this club is parallel to the ground, you see that club shaft? That tells me that the path of the golf club is going to start to go out to the right-hand side just because of where the delivery is here. And what we want to be able to do is get this club a little bit more in front of you, not so far behind you. So with a lofted club, you might be able to take this thing and time this up and get this to get back to the target. But the problem is, is that when you're using a club that has less loft, and I'm going to say a six iron or a driver or something along those lines, what ends up happening is it becomes, you become a face reliant player. We want to get you away from that. So here's what we're going to do. Really simple. We're going to just set up a little plane board right here. I'm going to put this just like this, set this up about at my six iron. So we're going to crank that up a little bit taller. Now I'm on a six iron. Now when I get set up in this down the line view, what you can see is if I take this club to the inside, I'm going to hit that, that PVC pipe. I want to be able to get this to get up into the air just like that and swing down over it. Now, after I've done that for a little bit, bring this in, square it up. I'm going to give myself just a little bit of space here so that I don't hurt myself. And I'm going to feel this club go out there and then over here. And what should end up happening is the path of the golf club is going to get a little bit better. I'm going to be able to start this ball on the line that I want. And what you can see when I hit that shot, and this will have a little bit of a fade to it, but come on over here because we're going to pay attention to what we're going to call the horizontal launch. Pay attention to the horizontal launch. And right there, I'm about one to the right. So even though I took that club a little inside because, I mean, a little outside, my club face was a little bit open and that deflected it to the right. But what I need you to understand is we've got to get that ball started on the line. That club's got to miss that PVC pipe. That's how you're going to improve that, okay? All right, now. Let's go over to our next contestant here. And the next one we're going to look at is we're going to look at Alfred. Let's see what Alfred's got going on. Okay, a lot of things to talk about here with Alfred, right? First thing I want to talk about is Alfred. And, and let's just, who's watching your son right here? What's going on with that, Alfred? We've got to keep an eye on that little guy. Come on, let's see what's going on. Let me get that out of the way there. And I got another question for you. I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a fence over here just like that. And it's kind of, but I'm not hearing this second noise of it hitting like a net or something. Listen, there's no second noise. I don't hear it. What is that thing? Where are you hitting that, Alfred? You shooting at your, are you shooting at your, are you not getting along with your neighbors here? Listen, no, so, uh, turn that, hey, Gibbsy, will you turn that, that volume up a little bit? Let's see what we hear. Oh my, Alfred, stop hitting into your neighbor's yard. Stop hitting into the house. All right, now listen, you know what? We got to fix this thing. What's Alfred got going on? Set up position looks really, really good here. And when he takes the club into the backswing, wonderful turn, excellent motion. All of a sudden, when he starts to go down, we're getting a little bit of bend in that lead arm. There's almost too much rotation in the body here. And then as he starts to come down, he does a wonderful job straightening that out but the club starts to get trapped behind. And as that club is getting trapped behind, watch what happens with the footwork. I want you to pay attention to this foot right here. So as it gets trapped behind him, the only way that he's able to get this club to get in front is to replant that foot 
so that the heel comes down and steps into that spot, all right? So we got a couple of things that we got to do, Alfred. And by the way, wonderful work there, shooting at the neighbors. I like it. Creative and outside of the box thinking. Here's what I want you to do. At the address, I want you to take that foot. I want you to open it up just like that. So we're going to flare that foot a little bit. And then when you start to come in here in the backswing, I don't want you to feel like you're turning that much. This is going to help restrict some of that backswing turn. So when you get in here, you'll be able to have a little bit more of the golf club in front of the body. And now when this club starts to come down, you're going to rotate. That foot won't do that little heel move. So set it up just like this. Start with that foot flare just like that. And then all I want you to do is just feel like your shoulders are going to just stop turning at about three quarters. And when you do that, you're going to start that ball right on line, have some pretty good power. You won't have to worry about replanting that foot. And as a result of that, you'll be able to be much more consistent. Hey, listen, I want to thank everybody so much for being a part of the show, sending in those swings. And remind you, get them in at hashtag FixMySwing. I'm Michael Breed. Thanks so much for watching New Breed of Golf. We'll see you next time.